Hey guys, <clears throat> me again. Um, camp set up. I gotta put all that away in the car, I think. Raccoons and stuff. Uh, this is me tonight. I'm not putting the rain fly on. Um, they're all down at some lake. I don't know where it is. I might go check it out, but honestly, I've seen lakes. I've seen lakes. The ocean's where it's at. No offense, any lake lovers. Um, I might have gotten a dog to eat. I cooked up some hamburgers and I put them in her bowl and she ate, yeah, about half of it. So, well, a little more than half. That's good. Tried the wet dog food, tried everything. She's not eating that, but she'll eat a burger, so I'll keep feeding her burgers. I got like three, two or three left. I'll admit, they were so good that I just decided to make a burger, even though I went and bought uh, some salads on the way here today. And you're probably wondering, why is everything out on the table, including the ice? Well, I had a problem. Uh, a cardinal mistake in camping that I've, actually, I think I've made it before. Never put raw food in with your unraw food. Uh, my dry ice ran out. I was keeping it in this dumb thing, and I think it actually might have melted it a little. I don't know. There was ice on the outside of it. That's not a good sign. That means it's leaking thermal heat or whatever. Uh, or it could just be that it was so cold on the outside of it that it uh, just condensed on the outside. Anyways, long story short, uh, I was looking for water in here and I noticed there was some bloody water because I put my hamburgers in there. So what happened was this crappy plastic bag, uh, Signature Select, leaks somehow. So uh, now I have a problem. So everything's covered in, I guess, E. coli. I I'm not exactly sure. Um, either way, I've got to scrub down all of my stuff and then I can put it back in this cooler, which is my main cooler. I could use the little cooler, but I don't think everything will fit in there. Um, anyways, so I've got to hurry and get that done. It's also getting dark and uh, we got fireflies again. And I was talking to my neighbors across the way over here and they had said that if you go down to the beach at night, they come out like crazy. I really want to see it. Um, but I'm not feeling it. I, I'm tired. This road trip thing, I've just been in a hurry the whole time from spot to spot because I'm trying to get to Massachusetts. So anyways, I am going to finish cleaning all of my food, hopefully cleaning it. Probably just going to dip it in this soapy water for a minute. Um, might remove it from the plastic bags and just do that. Hopefully the water didn't get into the, po the plastic bags. I can't really tell right now because it's dark. But um, anyways, yeah, that's my night tonight. Um, I didn't do the rainfly because it's like 80 degrees out right now. And it's only getting, it's just getting muggy. So anyways... Uh, I wish you guys could see these fireflies in, in person because they're freaking cool as hell. Um, any of you that live on the East Coast, you probably don't even care. They're just the same thing. I guess the neighbor next to me calls them lightning bugs. I call them fireflies. I don't know. They're probably called both. Um, I think Skyrim calls them uh, lightning bugs. Anyways, uh, so that's, that's my fun for tonight. And I'm going to hop to it before uh, I pass out and hopefully I can sleep tonight. These guys are rowdy, very, very rowdy. And there's a bunch of them, more than six. And I don't know, I read the instructions that they left for me at the campsite and it says no drinking, but they are definitely, definitely drinking. So I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna get to work because I got a long night ahead of me. I'm happy that the dog ate. I'm going to try and give her a big walk tonight before I go to sleep. Um, and I'm also, I am getting out, oh, getting out of these jeans and these boots. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is so hot that I'm like sweating. And I, I don't think I'm actually sweating. I think it's just the humidity here is crazy enough that it's just, I don't know, soaking my clothes and soaking my pants. My pants are sticking to me. It's not a good night.
they have a shower here and I definitely I think I'm gonna take a shower in the morning I should probably shower tonight because I'm changing my clothes but at this point I've showered the past two days in a row and I don't know I feel like I'm not dirty so anyways uh, I think I hear my neighbors coming up the hill uh, maybe no that's a that's a Harley this is a really cool park if you guys live over here in Indiana you should definitely check out Hoosier National Park. That's where this is. And I am at the, uh, oh God, I forget the name. I'll put it in the description below. Don't forget to click like if you like the video and subscribe if you want to. Um, I'm gonna put out more videos soon, especially when I get back to Seattle. Um, I'm gonna do some fishing videos and maybe some more camping videos. I wanna go camp on the, on the ocean. Um, I think that would be really fun. And I'll be back late July, so uh should be warm enough for me to just go out there and chill on the ocean beach. Um, I think the dog will like it. The dog is actually sleeping, which is really s scary because she usually doesn't go to sleep until I do. Unless we're at home, and then she'll just kind of sleep on and off throughout the day. But anyways, uh, that's me. This is my campsite once more. One more time around. It's getting dark. You guys can't see much. I can't see much. I hope I don't get any more E. coli stuff on my food because that would be horrible. I'm, I'm ready to just throw it out and just buy some more food. I, I don't really have much left. I have some cheese, some eggs. The bacon's probably too old to eat. So it's all of it's like a week old. I should probably just toss it. I cooked all of the rest of the raw food. Anyways, I'm babbling. So, uh, good night.